My good buddy Jesus loves Yokodehi and has been telling me to go to Yokodehi for years. I've always held off because it's in the middle of nowhere and it's at an Indian casino called Cash Creek. But recently, I made the trip up there to listen to him. And I have to say, it's a very exciting course, but really what makes it outstanding are two things. The service, which they treat you like a country club member, accommodate your every needs, which is fantastic. And the other thing that stands out is a dramatic opening tee shot that you have to shoot down a canyon, followed by a tremendous set of holes on the back nine. Really, the whole back nine of this course is just great hole after great hole after great hole. This is definitely a 15 golf ball course because there's a ton of hazards and if you don't feel comfortable with ball control and it, for the tier of golf course and the quality it is I would borderline say it's affordable because it's in the $65 range if you walk it and play it after three o'clock which they allow you to walk and prepay at, for $65 or it gets closer to a hundred and a little over a hundred if you want a cart and play before three o'clock I was amazingly impressed by this course because of the pride they take in the course, because of the conditions of the course. It was just a course where it really felt like they took pride in having a great course. I really, really like the holes 11, 12, 13, and 14. Super amazing, fantastic. Let's watch the vlog. So for those that are unfamiliar, Brooks, California is in the middle of nowhere. So you drive out to the middle of nowhere, then you have to go up this big hill to go to the first tee, which looks down upon basically a huge fairway. I don't want to give the number, but it's like over a hundred foot drop. It would really hurt if you fell off of it. Mama Luki on the camera, one of her rare appearances in the vlog filming. She also filmed the William Land vlog. But um, yeah, so here it is. Hit a good drive. Mama Luki says, let's look at the ground. Then I got a an iron in, beautiful opening hole, and I missed it out right, but that's fine. We're, we're completely good with that. So this is probably one of the hard things about this course that I'd never played before this, but after I know, the rough is really, really thick. So I missed on the shot because the rough was very thick, and I two-putted from there to make bogey. My driver was working all day here. So on the second hole, boom, put it out, easy money. And this is one of those like embarrassing moments where it's like, okay, I got a three wood, totally reachable par five for me with my distance. And what was I doing? Like, why did I do that? And now we got a hybrid in. I get it down there and I just made a mess of the hole. I hit it into the bunker. Basically, I got a seven. Mama Luki again. Good drive. I'm here. I'm starting out three over par. Not ideal. And here we go. Hit this shot. Third hole. Just nothing. I'm not playing bad is the bad part of this course. I hit a great shot. Missed to the right. And then I get stuck in this tree bark, which... I don't even know how that happens and the greens are in such good conditions that it just went over and I make a bogey salvaging it from that area so fourth hole par four or par three water water induced shot too little club leave it short and this is my first par of the round I just hit a chip and I get it up there. Sorry for Mama Luki's filming. It's just the way it is. Fifth hole over the water. If you don't know already, these are extremely scenic shots. I'm just trying to really, I'm like, okay, I made a par. Let's get this going. We blast it over this. And I put a good stroke on it. I felt very confident about that. I was feeling better. Got this approach. And this is one of these holes where I, like, I actually think about this at night because this was stupid. I took the wrong club in, put it in this bunker, and this is something that's like COVID golf. I hate when I do that. I caught a flyer and came out of the sand. Put it behind this tree, and this is like a stud nothing shot for me to have to this happen. Even though I wish I just put it on the green and made a par. This is my par shot. I did a flop shot over the tree. 
and I put it to right there. And that was pretty cool. And I made a bogey, even though I was sitting like 130 yards in the fairway and totally should have made par. Get to the next tee box. It's kind of like your traditional par five with lots of hazards. Not I wouldn't say hazards, lots of sand up front. I'm really trying not to go in the sand because your boy is really just hit a bad sand shot. So move the ball up. Got this approach into the green, which it's always good to have a nice little wedge into the green. And I got I came away there with a two putt par. Now we're heading into the seventh hole, which is a short par three, which was directly into the wind and really, really well protected. So it was protected on all angles by hazards. I came up short. I didn't film any more of that, and I got a bogey on that hole. It was a really, really tough hole. So this is the first of kind of like the modern era of my vlogging that I kind of turned to where no one else filmed it, and I just put the camera on my bag. And this was a drivable par four, which that's never the case for me. And this is what it looks like. It's like a lot of bunkers and a lot of stuff. And this was my approach into the green. I definitely did not strike that the way I should have, put it in the bunker. I hit a great bunker shot. And your boy made a super hard par, which, not mad at it, but at the same time, it's like... I'm working really hard at this course. I was feeling like I really sucked at this course because it's a really hard course, but I felt like I wasn't playing as bad as I felt my score was. So I was trying to stay calm. We're getting to the ninth hole, and this is another example of just me struggling. So the fairway finder's working. Put it out there. I'm like, okay, here we go. That's, that's going to work. Got a bad break where I hit the ball directly into ground under repair but it was really well out there struggling with my yardages probably caught it a little fat it's a it's a uphill green with a bunker on the right which you guys don't see hit it into the bunker per usual hit a great bunker shot to three feet which you guys will not see and your boy got his par okay so that was my take on this course i hope that you like comment and subscribe and please be sure to check out for upcoming videos.